in a seated position. So if this seated position with the legs crossed doesn't suit you, you can have your feet out in front and that might be easier for you to get your spine in a nice long spine. You have another option. If you're kind of uncomfortable in both of those positions and you find your body falls back in space, grab a cushion or a block or a book or something and just sit on underneath it. And that will give you more space through the spine to lengthen up into a nice tall neutral. So whatever position that you chose, we're gonna bring our hands out by our sides. If you're on a block, they're probably not gonna to be touching anything, they're just gonna be outreached. And then from there, we're gonna breathe in, take the arms up in line with our ears, and then exhale, as you bring them down, start to reach them slightly behind your body. So we breathe in to reach it up, and then exhale, draw it back in space. So good morning to all of you that have joined in. Welcome to Early Pilates, regular live Saturday morning Pilates and fascia release class. Next time as you release your hands down, let them rest on the floor or out to the side. We're gonna lift up through your right arm. Then we side reach it over to the side lift it back up to the sky again, deliberately reaching to the sky and then allow it to rest on the floor. Other side, inhale up, exhale, reach it to the side, breathe in and lowering down. One more either side, so really long, so we elongate through the armpit, we side reach, we pin down the right hip as we side reach, so we get the stretch across the side body, breathe in, and lower that hand down. One more, inhale, long reach. Exhale, side body. Breathe in, long reach again. And exhale, bring the hands down by your side. From here, we're gonna turn over into a kneeling position. So, kneeling on all fours. So we're gonna have our heels of our hands in line with our knees. The tailbone's pressed out behind us and you should have a little curve in your low back, enough for a blueberry to rest under. And then we're gonna just do a small movement here through our pelvis. So it's like we press the tailbone out, then we tuck the tailbone under, so the head doesn't move. We press the tailbone out, we tuck the tailbone under. So sometimes we do this lying on our back, and then we tuck it under. We're going to inhale, press the tailbone out, looking for the curve in the low back. Then we exhale, draw the belly in, tuck the tailbone in, as if we flatten out that curve or push it up to the sky. Lengthening, press the tailbone, inhale. Exhale, gentle connection through the center as we tuck under. We're gonna do two more like that. Breathe in. Exhale, pull through. And last one, breathing in. And exhale, pull it through. From here, drop your bum back into your heel and we're gonna sweep the right arm over in front of your left arm and then come back to all fours. Exhale, drop back, sweeping the opposite arm across and then back to all fours. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, weight on all fours. Two more. And center. And one more. And back to your center. From here. Take your right arm, reach it out to the side. Maybe let your eye gaze follow the fingertips. And then slowly start to slide that hand under the other arm. Reach it all the way out. And you're looking to let your head find the floor, but not everybody's head will find the floor. So what you could do is you could take your mat and roll it up if you're not quite on the floor. So you have something to rest on that's a little bit higher. 
or you could use a cushion if you had one of those soft balls or a yoga block you can use that as well as you reach to the side so wherever you are we'll just breathe in and out there for three stretching across the mid back body now and two last one breathe in and exhale slowly releasing out of there we're going to take the other side now so we breathe in exhale slide and reach it let the head find contact wherever that is for you and the other arm is bent so you can be pushing into the other arm so that's supporting you that's your stabilizing arm we breathe for three Use the exhale to surrender into that space. Two more, breathe in. And out. And one more, breathe in. And exhaling out. Slowly push into the support hand to bring yourself back into all fours. From here, we're gonna turn around and come to a seated position on the mat. So we're gonna sit nice and tall, spine is nice and long. We're gonna do that little tilt through your pelvis that we did a minute ago. You could hook your hands under the back of your knees as you tip back through the lumbar spine. And then we lengthen to come nice and tall. More challenge, you can disconnect the hands as you come forward and back. Breathing in and exhale to lift up. And then you could challenge yourself further by going back a little bit more each time. Draw the core in as we come back to the nice tall position. Breathe in to sweep. Exhale to lift. And we'll do two more. Breathing in and lifting last one inhale roll it back now we're going to stay here on this roll back turn your palms up to the sky then you exhale fingers to your shoulders slowly release out fingers to shoulders release it out your tummy is working to hold you in this round back position the front of your arm the bicep is working to add the curls so you might be getting a bit of a shake now we got five more four three give me two more last one slowly lengthen yourself back up brilliant place your hands to the back of your thighs walk your hands down your thighs to roll yourself down onto your back we're going to fire up into that belly a little bit more so we're going to take one leg into tabletop gentle connection second leg comes to tabletop you have a 90 degree angle at your knee joint. Your shins are parallel to the floor or the ceiling. We're gonna place our hands onto our knees. If this is too strong, one leg could be elevated. Then hands are gonna be pressed into the knees, knees are pressed into the hands. And we keep that connection. So there's activity, but no movement. And you'll feel that fire in the belly drawing up. Looks like this if you're on one leg. So it's one hand pushing into one knee. And we breathe in and out and we'll stay here for another 15 seconds and we'll take a big break and then we'll repeat it again so if you're on a single leg you'll get a chance to do the other leg so we've got another 10 seconds keep that action going keep breathing in and out and five four three two one, hug your knees into your chest or drop one foot down and switch the leg around. And let's come back in for our second set. So opposite leg if you're on a single leg and then place your hands in the position. Knees are pressing into hands, hands are pressing into knees and straight away you'll feel that reaction through your core. Try to let the upper body relax if we can. If you feel any action in your low back, bring your knees in a little bit closer. 
If that doesn't take it out of the low back, place one foot to the floor. So we don't want this to be putting torque in our back, we just want to get that action in through our tummy muscles. So we're going to hold it for another five, four, three, two, last one. Hug your knees into your chest or let your feet rest on the floor. From here, we're going to take the left leg into tabletop. We're going to place our left hand onto the knee. Our right hand comes behind our head. Action is the same here with hand and knee. So pressing into hand and knee. And at the same time, we're going to rotate towards that hand and then we lower down. So this can be difficult because you're asking your brain to do a couple of things. <laughs> so you're rotating, but you're also keeping the action into the left side of the body. So really try and keep your focus on those both points. You really want to keep the connection through the left side as you rotate. So we're working into the side waist, the left side waist body. So imagine your right ribs moving to your left front pocket. It's exhale as we rotate, inhale as we lower. If it's too strong, you can keep out the twist and just do the hand and knee. And rotate. You've got three more, three, last two, and one more guys, lift to rotate. Slowly lower everything down, resting your knee, and then gently drop your two knees to the right side. And if it's comfortable on your shoulders, bring your hands behind your head, both hands as you look to the side. If, it, if you don't have a flexibility in the shoulders, just keep your hands out by your side. And we'll just take a breath, breathe in. Gently release, roll everything back to the middle. So we'll take the right hand away from the head, tabletop the right leg, pressing between hand and knee on the right side. Rotate that left elbow over to the right knee and lower it down. Exhale. And down. So we're working deeply into that waist. And down. And twisting, great. Keeping the arm nice and wide as you lower back down. We're going for five more, so you're really working in through those tummy muscles now. Working in through the white, right waist side. Great, last three. Two more. Final one, lift and rotate and then slowly lower everything back down. Drop, popping your foot to the floor, hands can come behind the head, drop your knees to the left side this time so we get the stretch out through the right side body. And let your head turn to look to the right side as well. You could even straighten out the top leg if you wanted to, that can open out down through the lateral side a little bit more. And then slowly come and find the middle. I'm going to do a bridge. If you happen to have a softball beside you, or it just happens to be there, just pop it between your knees, but you don't need it. Draw your heels back a little bit closer to your thighs, hands are by your side. Now we're not going to do a rolling bridge like we normally do, where we peel up and down. We're literally just going to pick the pelvis up and then drop it back down. So we're staying in our neutral, space is underneath our low back. We take an inhale breath, let's bring the fingers up to the sky. Exhale, push into your elbows, push into your feet, squeeze your butt as you lift up. And then inhale, just allow the butt to just brush the bottom of the mat, but not put your weight on the mat. Then pick it up again, squeeze the butt. Inhale, rest it, tiny second, and then pick it up. So we're just touching the mat, and then we're lifting back up again. Breathe in, exhale, squeeze to lift. We're going for five more. This time, press the arms up. Inhale, elbows down. Exhale, push the arms up. Inhale, press it up. Two more. Inhale, pressing it up. And final one. Inhale, press it up. Now we're going to stay here. 
We're gonna lower the hands down by our side, but we keep the hips up. And then we reach the arms up to the sky. Breathe in, lowering the arms down. All the action is in the back of the thighs and the butt here. Even though the arms are moving, it's the back of the thighs and the butts that we're working. Lowering down as you lift up. You could go a little bit further if you have the range through your shoulder joints. That's fine. Breathing in. Exhaling over. We're going to do one more. Watch those low backs hanging down. Squeeze the butt. Lift them up. This time, inhale, bring the hands to the sky. Exhale, lower your spine down, 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 down. And then release the hands down by your side. Remove the ball if you had a ball. From here, we're going to turn onto our side. We're going to come up onto an elevated elbow for a little bit more challenge because we're back into the waist. If that's too strong on your shoulder for any reason, just come down so your head is supported by your arm. So we're going to have the top leg nice and long. We're going to lift the top leg up and then lower it down. While we're lifting that leg up and down, we're conscious of this underside waist. So we want to avoid this happening. So we don't want to hang into the shoulder joint. We want to lift out of the shoulder joint. So now my side body's working as I lift the leg up and down. All down the outside of the thigh is working here as well. It's an exhale to lift and an inhale to lower. And you should be feeling that already. We're going for two and one. Now, circle the leg, big circles down at the wall below you. Work it from the hip and not your ankle. Circle and circle. One more. Pause, reverse the other way for six. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold the leg still. Do a small pause up and down for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower that leg down. Turn face down onto your belly. Bring the elbows resting on the floor as that breaks your feet. Take an inhale to elevate up. So you're stretching the front body, working the back body. And then exhale to sink and lower it down. Breathe in. Imagine you're stretching the skin and the front of the body. Eye gaze can look forward. And then exhale slowly, release down. Pushing your feet into the floor. As you lift up, it's an inhale. As you exhale, it's a lower down. And enjoy that stretch through the front body as you're lifting up, opening the throat, the heart, the lungs, and lowering down. And remember, you're working with your ability. So you may be just getting to here, and that's completely fine. So that's where you have the flexibility in your body right now, today, this morning. So that's what you're working with. So we're never looking to create a shape. We're always looking to sense where we are in our own body and how we can facilitate that body through movement. So how do we open up through the body? Here we think about the shoulders rolling back, the collarbones widening. Like the collarbones are smiling, almost feel the front of the throat lengthening, the breastbone moving forward, and then gently lower down. So one of those cues may have worked for you. You could think about your shoulder blades gently drawing back towards each other in a soft V. We'll take one more. Inhale to rise. And then exhale to gently lower down. Now you can just turn to the other side and get yourself set up for your side leg. I'm going to swing down this end so you can see me. So we're elevated or lying down if it doesn't suit the shoulder. This bottom leg is going to be bent. And then we lift the top leg up and down using our exhale on the rise and our inhale as we lower. And remembering not to dump in through that shoulder. So we're lifting high up through that bottom side rib, working into our obliques. So we're lifting and lowering. Exhale and down. We got five more. Four. Three. Last two. And one. 
one final one lift it up halfway and then we're going to circle so we're circling the legs so we're getting all of the hip muscles working for two and one reverse going the other way for six five four burning now three two one hold it we're not finished yet pulse it out come on finish it with me keep the pulse going for five four three two and a half enjoy one more and then relax it down good work well done okay now we're going to turn over but we're going to be on our knees at this time so we're going to do a little bit of work with um our press up position but we're going to add a little change to it so we can involve some fascia release and get some rebound through the fascia so we're in a nice square box position the hands are as wide as your mat and then you bend the elbows out to the side as your head comes down in the direction of the floor and then we slowly press up now how low you go depends on how strong you are to take yourself back up again so some of you may only be able to go halfway and then back up but that's what you work with till you get stronger to take yourself all the way down and back up but we're going to add a slight change or a slight difference to this exercise so i'm going to turn around so you can see me so we come down in our narrow stance but then we're going to push the hands away from the floor and lift and go wide push away go narrow push away go wide push away go narrow so as we push away when we find the floor we come down then as we're coming up we press away go narrow press away and go wide so you've, you've got the picture if it's not working for you and the bounce doesn't work just stay in one spot and just go through your press up so away you go you can start in narrow inhale down exhale press what inhale down press narrow down press wide down press narrow breathe in We'll do three more. So really good to get some nice release work through the chest and the arms. Really good for your shoulder joint. One more in wide. Slowly lengthen up. Reach the arms out long. Drop your bum back and let your head drop down. And you would have felt doing that that your heart and lungs were working as well so you're starting to become a little bit labored through the breath and that should happen so it's a little bit more cardio action so really surrender through the exhale you might even sigh out on an exhale one more breath breathe in excellent okay from there we're going to come back round to our mat and we're going to do our roll down so we want enough space here at the back of the mat so we can roll down we're nice and tall with the palms out in front if this is too challenging for you i'm going to show you a version that you can work with otherwise you're going to tip your pelvis back as you breathe in you're going to keep going on an exhale reach the arms over the head then inhale bring the hands to the sky and exhale nod the head to fold the body forward as you lift yourself back up in space so if that was challenging you're going to roll down you can grab your hands onto the back of your thighs to walk yourself down reach the arms over your head inhale take one leg into tabletop and then exhale roll your body forward so use the leg to support you when you're lifting yourself back up in space and then reach it over so inhale use the leg here if you need it exhale fold breathing in and reaching over in use the leg if you need it and lifting up and we're going to go again one more time breathe in reach it over 
inhale and lift it up. Okay, holding on to the back of your thighs. We're going to do a little rolling out the ball. So you can hold on to the back of your thighs to do this. That's a little bit easier. Or you can put your hands on your shins to make it a little bit harder. Or you can stay here and just do your pelvic tilt, rock back and lengthen up. Rock back and lengthen up. Okay, so take the, cho the choice that you're working with. So we inhale back and exhale forward. Breathe it in and forward. So we're going to do a couple like that, working in through our core to keep the spine nice and round. I can hear the next door neighbour is doing something with a bit of a drill. So I'm not sure if you guys can hear that on the camera, but if it goes on for quite a while, we might make the class a little bit shorter today um, because it can be a bit annoying listening to noise. And maybe you guys have music on in the background so you might not hear it so much. <clears throat> so inhale as you go back and exhale as you come forward. So really looking for that round spine. If you want to do a little bit of a challenge here, you could look to see can you come up into the little squat position, trying to take the bum off the floor. So reach your hands out in front. I find that easy to separate my feet as wide as the mat. That makes it easier for me to come up in a squat position. But from teaching classes, it just really depends on your body um, size and your body flexibility. So some guys find it much easier for the feet together. So that's an experiment you can play around with. <clears throat> so next time we come up to a seated position, let's stay in the seated position. And I wanna show you another version of a rolling down so we can get into the waist again. So we're kind of working on the theme of core today, which you probably noticed, and really working into the waist. <clears throat> so with our roll down, we breathe in to roll like we just did, and then we exhale to reach the arms over the head. But this time we're gonna inhale, let the arms come to one side, and lift yourself up. If you were using your knee to lift yourself up in the last version, then just come up and down through the center. It'll be too difficult to come to the side so breathe in, exhale, reach over. So you're either coming up through the center now or sweep the hands to the left and roll yourself back up. <clears throat> breathe in, reach the arms over. Sweep to one side and lift yourself up. Breathe in, reaching long and sweep to lift. We're going to do two more. Breathe in. A really great one to work into your waist. Sweeping to the side. You want to make sure you're nice and warmed up before you do this. So we do a lot of side body stretches when we're going to be working with this one. Reaching to the left and up we go. Excellent. Good work. Okay. Swing your legs off behind you. <clears throat> and we're going to come into a plank position now. So inner plank. <clears throat> we have two choices. We're going to have our hips forward so that our kind of hips are parallel towards or somewhat parallel to the mat. So we feel the weight in our hands, but our tummy has to work here. So that's choice number one. Choice number two, if the wrists bother you, it's the same move, but you're on your elbows. Then you can come to make it harder by taking the legs off the floor. So we're in your full plank position. So if you're used to doing this in the gym, go there. And of course you can do that by being down on your elbows. So you're gonna choose whatever works for you for the moment. And we'll just hold in that position there. So if you're in this kneeling position, often people ask, does it matter if your toes are tucked or released? It doesn't make any difference. So wherever you feel most comfortable. So whatever position you're in, we wanna roll the shoulders back, widen the collarbones. Imagine your inner thighs are pulling towards each other. Lengthen the crown of the head long. You don't want your head hanging, keep it long. And then we're holding this position here for another 10 seconds. You should feel that the core is just organically working for you. You don't have to engage it or anything like that. So it's working to keep those organs in your body, just naturally. And we breathe for four and three, 
and two, and one, excellent. Drop the bum back to the heels, reach your arms out in front, letting the head rest for a moment. So we're going to come into a variation of plank next. Now if you're finding plank pretty difficult, you're probably just going to stay in this position or whatever position you worked in last. So the variation, I'm just going to move my mat because sometimes it slips. So the variation looks like this. We come to the full plank, then we step the right foot over the left, left foot over the right, right foot, and then we spin into side plank. We hold for three, two, one. Now watch this, this is important. As we come into plank, you're rolling onto your right toe, but you've got to step the left leg over for one, right leg over for two, left leg over for three, so then we're here into this side plank for three. So when I go into my plank now, my right leg's going over. So I plank, roll my right. One, two, three, turn into side. If you're not doing this version, just stay into your regular static plank, or maybe you're gonna stay in a shell stretch. Release it down, left, right, left. And side plank for three, two, one. Your right leg's coming over. Right, left, right, side plank. For three, two, one. Left leg, left, right, left. This is your last one. Side plank for three, two, one. Slowly release, rest your knees, and then everyone into your shell stretch. Letting your head rest down, taking a breath in and out. And then from here, we're gonna just come up into all fours, and we'll turn yourself around, taking the weight off those wrists, and lie yourself down onto the floor. You're going to take your right leg into tabletop. Then we take the left leg to follow. We're going to reach the arms up towards the sky. So, yes, we're still working on core. So another core one coming. So you should certainly be feeling the belly working right now. You can do this with one foot on the floor if you wish. So we take an inhale breath. And on the exhale, we're going to nod our head, round the body forward, to rock forward into a balanced position if possible. The feet could rest if they need to rest. We breathe in here, and then we exhale, lower through that low back, and reach the arms back to the sky. I'm going to show you a way to make it easier if you're, you're struggling to get up. So you breathe in, exhale, grab the back of your thighs, rock forward. Inhale, stay. Exhale, hold onto your thighs to release down and then disconnect. So we use that option if you need it. I'll show you again. Breathe in. Exhale, rock forward. Feet can touch or stay elevated. Inhale and exhale, lower it back down. Okay, we're going to do five more of whatever option you're working on. Breath in. Exhale, nod and lift more challenge, you could take your arms up here, inhale, exhale, lower down, breathe in, exhale, on and fold, and if you've got super flexible hamstrings, you could come into this V position, bend to lower down, breathe in, exhale forward, your choice, what you're doing here, touching the floor, lengthening the legs, reaching the arms, and lower it down, breath, roll, inhale, and exhale down, three more, breathe in, inhale, exhale, last two, we've got two more, this is your last exercise, breathe in, roll it forward, Maybe try the long legs, rolling down, 
Final one, breathe in. Exhale, roll. Your core will thank you in the end and then roll it down. Brilliant. Draw your knees in, maybe circle the knees. So you're getting a little bit of openness through the sacrum, the pelvis, the back body. Then reverse and circle the other way. One more circle. Gently bring the feet to the floor. Maybe bring the arms into cactus arm position if it's working for your shoulder joint, otherwise the palms will be down. And then we're just gonna windscreen wiper side to side with the knee, so the head's still looking forward. So it's just the legs that are going side to side, a little bit of a twist into the side body. We'll go for another four. So just giving the body a chance to cool down as well. And three, two, and one more, and back to the middle. Brilliant. Okay, so let's lengthen the legs out. And then you could keep the hands here in cactus arms if, if it was comfortable for you, or bring your hands down by your sides. I'm gonna keep mine in cactus arms actually. And we're just gonna take a couple of breaths. So it's nice and quiet now, so we'll use this opportunity to just allow our body to settle into the position that we're in. If long legs bothers your back, please bring your legs into this position here if there's any discomfort with long legs. And now let's bring the attention into the belly. So behind the belly button, we breathe in to fill the belly button with air to expand the front body. Then on the exhale, allow the body weight to release down. Breathing in. And exhaling. And let's start to consider the duration of the breath on an inhale and the duration of the breath on an exhale. So we're going to try and make that an equal. So as we inhale, I'm going to suggest a count of five, but your breath abilities may be different to mine. So what, if you get to four seconds, five seconds, see, can you then create that on the exhale as well? So we inhale for two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five. So you have the idea now, continue with that count in your head as you inhale and exhale. And if your hands are in cactus arms, just bring them back towards your side now, because you'll get pins and needles in them if you keep them up there for too long. And just follow that journey of the breath as we inhale to rise. And we exhale to surrender. Feeling the buoyancy of the 
almost like a sail in a boat, expanding, opening, and then we're softening, surrendering, and releasing. Breathing in to expansion. And then exhaling into stability. So we're always looking for that yin and yang. Looking to explore and expand our horizons but doing it with the knowledge of a stable support and foundation. The breath is that. As we inhale, there's opportunity. And as we exhale, there's safety and support. We'll take two more breaths like this, breathe in. And exhale. Final deep breath, breathing in. And exhale. Now just take a moment here and just come back to your normal breath cycle so you're not forcing anything. You're just taking your regular breath, however way <clears throat> that comes into the body. And then you can start to move through your wrists, maybe circling the wrists. You could start getting movement in through your feet. And then gently hug one knee into your chest. Take your second knee into your chest. And just gently feel that stretch through the back body. And then when you're ready, you can flicker open the eyes. If they were closed, you could roll onto your side to come to a seated position, or you could grab the back of your legs and rock your body forward. Well done, guys. You are all done. Another class finished. So we did loads of work on the core today. So you might feel that a little bit later. Um, but lots of options, lots of, lots of ways to achieve those movements, whether you're a beginner, intermediate or advanced. So thanks for joining me again on the mat this morning. Welcome to anyone that's new and delighted to have everybody that keeps coming back every week. So we're here Wednesdays and Saturdays at 10 a.m. live and you have the recordings to look back on whenever you want. So have a great weekend and we'll see you on Wednesday.